Hi everybody, my name is Michael Stegner. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about rhythms. For example, if we have a steady beat like this, we can split that into, into smaller beats. And this happens all the time when we read and play music. So if we have this pattern in one hand, you can have something twice that fast against it. So that's a two to one relationship and we're going to get into that today. Please remember to like and subscribe and I hope you have fun. Today we're going to talk about something new that we haven't done before. It's a new rhythm. So if we tap out a rhythm, so like one, two, three, four, or ta, 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 then that's the steady beat. That's like Zach, 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 Zach. Beth, Beth, all those names that we did all the way back in book one, those are the beats. Those are the quarter notes. But we can split those in half. So repeat after me. So let's actually just follow along. So we're going to go here. Just do this with me. All right, now check this out. Do this with me. Now back to the original. Now we're going to switch. Original. Switch. Original. Switch. Okay, you probably figured out that the, the second way was just faster. So here was the first way. Second way. Was faster. What we actually were doing, we were just splitting the beat in half. So making two beats fit inside the one beat. So one way I like to count that is using the ta. So if the if the beat is ta, check this out. Say this with me. Ta 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 ta. Then we just put another name and another beat inside in between the ta's. So ta 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 ki ta ki ta ki ta ki ta 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 ki ta ki ta ki ta ki. So that gives you the ta's, which never change, even with the key in the middle. Ta ki ta 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 ki ta. Repeat that after me. Ready? Go. Ta 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 ki ta 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 ki ta. Taki, 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 ta. You see how that works. Okay, so that's called subdividing. That's a big fancy word for that. We split the beat and we're splitting it in two parts this time. So when we play, we can do that with our hands. Ta, ta, taki, ta. And it looks different on the page. It's two notes connected by a beam across the top, and those are called eighth notes. Okay, so let's do this together on the piano. Play this with me. I'm going to play it once and then you copy me. Ta, 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 ki, ta, ki, ta, ki, ta, ki, ta, 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 ta. Ready? So let's try that. We'll go back and forth like that. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ki, ta. Practice that a few times with me so you get the feel of switching between a beat and then the subdivided beat with the talkies. Some people use numbers, so like one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one. So the numbers are the beats and the ands are in between the beat. Try that way with me. Count to four and put the ands in between the numbers when we play the faster one. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one. See how that works? Okay, so if we look at this group of pieces, that is introduced on the second song on page 18. It's called Buzzing Bees. So when we play Buzzing Bees, it's ta ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta. All right, now that.
That sounds easy, but what a lot of people do is this, which is a really easy mistake to make. So what I just did was I cheated and I did ta ta ki ta ta ki, which this note, the first note, I didn't hold long enough, so it throws the whole beat of the song off. So a way to keep that from happening is even when you have a ta, you're going to count it as taki. So it, it'll sound like this. Let's look at buzzing bees. Taki, 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 taki. Try that with me once. Now that you see how that works. Ready? One, two, ready? Oh, wait a minute. Before we start, I want you to count like me and play it also. So you should be speaking the rhythm and playing it. Ready? One, two, count and play. Taki, 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 taki. Practice creepy crawlers, buzzing bees, walking on stilts, and singing in the choir. Practice with the slow, medium, fast, and pro practice tracks each time you practice, and remember to count Taki for every beat in Buzzing Bees. For bonus, be able to play each song along with a different song's practice track. For example, play Buzzing Bees while listening to the practice track of Singing in the Choir. All the songs can be played at the same time. Please like and subscribe so you'll know about future videos.